Good day fellas, I hope you are ready for your daily dose of skill and today I felt like I am a bit kinky fellas. I felt like I want to do something bad for the enemies, so I decided to take one and only Jack Pizda and we are going to show some dominance. Uh, and we are going to show dominance in a very very simple way. If I am meeting someone who has armor, this tank has only one thing okay the gun the, you can say whatever you want this tank has only one thing and that is the gun so what we are going to do we are going to load something special for 20 in the face and then we have no problems whatsoever um lately i played with this vehicle quite a bit and i was thinking about this tank and you know what in certain situations this vehicle can actually work um, and funny thing, one of my uh, one of my friends, one of my ex moderators, he had the twelve thousand damage game with Jack Pizda, which is pretty damn impressive, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. So I thought, okay, let's go and let's try to make this vehicle work for today. So, the first things first, will we meet someone who is thinking about crossing like this? Because if we will, he's going to change his mind and he is going to change his opinion quite heavily. You know what? So far, we cannot see absolutely anyone. Mm -hmm. Let's try to get involved. Let's try to push a bit in front. I have support in a way. Oh, yo, 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 yo. Hi. 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 <laughs> I have support, I do not mind that much fellas, all we are going to do, we are going to spank him next time whenever I am going to fully reload. This actually doesn't really matter, this is a one shot for us. Hi! Like I said, he is down to one shotable for us, and he is going to die in approximately five seconds. There is no way he is going to survive this. Ah! Here we go. Here we go. That's what I am talking about. This is what this vehicle is capable of. Whenever you are meeting um, weaker opponents, this is what this tank can do. Meanwhile, he is not really paying too much attention to what is happening around him. He got flanked and he took one for the team. Nice. Okay. All we need to do at this point, at this point we need to start making a hardcore pressure for uh, the enemy base. Obviously speaking about the setups of this vehicle, there is many ways how you can equip this tank. And you can go with a turbo as well which is going to help your mobility just tiny touch. But that tiny touch can help quite a bit if that makes sense. So, we know Grille is somewhere in the spawn, you know, Trash 103 is somewhere in the spawn, uh, Esther Y is somewhere sitting in the back, I, I would say. So all we need to do, we need to make a bit of pressure like this. By the way, if you are a wandering skill, uh, do you know there is a guy in the bush over there? Me? Oh, me knowing someone is in the bush? Oh, come on, fellas. Not a chance. Not a chance. I would blind fire here anyways. Um, there is a chance I would kill him. There is a chance, obviously, I would miss my shot as well. So, let's see. Trying to get a bit closer, just like so. Now I'm going to show you a shortcut. Going up like this. Beautiful. Prepared to say hello for enemies. Opa. That's okay. Not a big deal. We are aiming for Grille. We are spanking Grille. We are moving back. Good, 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 good. Here you go. Here you go, fellas. Jack P is the in action and we are actually making it work. That's great. I'm happy with this. Um, now looking into our performance, we have over 4,000 combined. And I want to believe we are going to get another shot relatively easily. Especially, nah, I don't really care about this gentleman. What I care about, I care about the Esther v, I would say. There is a pixel over there, aim, 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 and boom. Oh, yo! Right into the cupola of the Esther v. 
when this tank works this tank works and by the way when i wa whenever i was thinking about this tank gun how to rate this vehicle for a newer rating in the index page and everything i had quite a bit of troubles to do so and the main reason is the alpha damage is actually very nice and the tank is not that uh, trashy as uh, as many many thing people are thinking yeah sure you can miss the point blank shots obviously you can if rng is uh, showing you a big fat middle finger there is absolutely nothing what you can do in order to um survive the troll if we can say so but if you are um somehow decently lucky um this time can work very very well fellas this tank can work very well. Would I say it is very competitive tank in the world of tanks? No, fellas. It is definitely not very competitive tank. In fact, let's teleport to the scoreboard and let's see what we crafted in the very first game. Very good. So, we have the first class. We have the high caliber, which is always nice and always welcome. Uh, we are second by experience. We are first by the damage. Uh, we made 91,000 profits, although 50,000 credits are coming from the mission. Uh, not bad, if you would ask me. Let's go for round number two. And we are back with a second game. So what do we have? We have a Tundra. Fellas, I can tell you one thing. Uh, you are going to see a great blooper after um, after this video okay you will see three good games but for a fourth one you are going to see an awesome awesome i repeat awesome blooper it's going to be amazing anyways uh what do we have we have the 50b who is thinking about being aggressive okay uh, there is nothing bad about being aggressive in this situation, but what he needs to understand, he needs to understand if he is going to overpeak, he is going to take one for the team. Just like so. Even though he fully clipped me out, I salute him, um, he is pretty much doomed. He is effed, he cannot change absolutely anything about this and he is pretty much dead meat. This is what he happened for a 50B. Um, I'm just accepting this. Yeah, I lost half of the hit points myself, but I had no uh, escape route in this kind of situation, if that makes sense, right? Okay. What do I want to do here? Uh, could I spank someone who is sitting around this area? I do not really think they have anyone here, although... This is the thing. I do not really think they have anyone here. Hmm. I have an idea. This might be not the wisest one, but idea nevertheless. I really want to spank this Leo if we have a chance. I'm over peeking, I know I'm spotted, I'm aware of that, it's okay. Ooh, I'm finding a huge trouble playing with this tank. I do not really think it is hard tank to play with uh, overall, right? But in order to be competitive with this vehicle, it's just not my tank. Um, it is possible to have a great games when all stars are aligned and everything, but usually it is not the case and usually you are just kind of... Hi. But usually you are just kind of... Um, suffering at least i am speaking from my own experience whenever i played with this tank right that's what i think and it never ever ever was my vehicle but it doesn't change the fact we can showcase this vehicle once in a while and by the looks of it fellas you like a big boy gun so it is uh, it is great stuff hmm. okay how about this is4 now the question is is this IS-4 and Super Conqueror into making a bit of pressure like this? Because if they are, we can spank them like there is no tomorrow, fellas. Hmm. I have an idea. Up. Up. I have an idea. If I would be this is STB, I would be very, very, very uh, upset and afraid of what might come. Okay, we can move in. 
The main reason why I think we can move in is because we have 277 over there. Oh, beautiful. Very, very nice. You see, we have a bit of support here. That's exactly what we want to see. And once again, not easy things to do, but we are going to make it work. All good, fellas. All good. Conqueror will eliminate me from the game in some time as well. So once again, I need to craft a decent enough angle and I need to spank this IS-4. Let's try to get a bit more involved. Yes, I'm aware of that. I do not have engine, but in the same time, I do not really have repairs either. So I cannot do anything. I'm kind of stuck here with the 2.8 thousand. And I'm trying to do everything what I physically and possibly can in order to do dodge the bloody Arta. I know he's up to me. I know he has a crush on me. That's okay. Not the first one and definitely not the last one, fellas. Okay. In 30 seconds, we are going to get our engine back, which is obviously good. But before that, I really want to get one or two more shots with this vehicle. That's what I want to do. And how to do this, fellas? And how to do this? Okay, only one thing how we can approach the enemies is obviously go for this IS-4. If we are going to eliminate the Mr. IS-4, um, then our life will be so much better and so much easier as well. And even though if I will die shooting him once, I do not really mind, fellas. I do not really mind. Okay, he's pretty much waiting for us. Fine, fair enough. I'm not going to make pressure either. I do not really think Arta can do anything for us at this point. So I am feeling good and our team is winning. So if he wants to get an extra shot in this game, he needs to figure out how to move. That's what he needs to do. Patience. Patience, fellas. It will take half a second to uh, lower the gun. Beautiful. Trying to make a handle so he is not going to pen me. And here we go. And here we go. Somehow, somehow, we managed to survive this. Okay, Mr. Jack Peased over there. Let's try to craft a good enough angle. Yeah, this is a good enough angle. He will get spotted in a moment. Oh, that art really wanted to kill me, fellas. That art really wanted to kill me. Congratulations, my man. You showed um, your level of skill. And you definitely managed to outplay Jack Pizd. I salute you. Fellas, can we have a big thumbs up uh, uh, for uh, this video? And especially for this art for outplaying us. That was impressive. Um, other than that, I am not feeling bad whatsoever. 4.1 thousand. Uh, 400 assisting damage. This is not the game I am going to cry for, and I think this is actually all right. Um, and yes, I had some games in between the games, fellas. Believe me, with a Jack Peas, that's very, very hard to be... Um, how to say this? It is extremely hard to be consistent with this tank. It truly is, at least for me, for my playstyle. You are going to see one blooper um, after the next game, and yeah, uh, it happens for the best of us. Let's teleport to the scoreboard. And we are back, fellas. So what do we have? We have a solid um, game. 4.1 thousand damage. Great. 400 assisting damage. It's okay considering what kind of map we have, right? We are fifth in the scoreboard speaking about the uh, experience. And we are third by the damage. So all in all, it is a great game. I'm super duper hyper turbo happy about this. That was a good game. Uh, and we made 7,000 profits, which is always nice and always welcome. Let's go for a Round number three. And we are back, fellas. Round number three. Well, round number three for you. For me, it is round number seven, if I'm not mistaken. I'm trying to make this tank work. I truly am, fellas, and I am struggling. Um, I am struggling. You know, 
the tank once again it's not consistent vehicle i would love to say i can do four after four five out of five six after six but you know what's from that one game i'm doing five and the other game i'm doing uh, one shot you know this is not good enough and i can tell you one thing i am not waiting until i am i will need to mark this vehicle without gold because then it is going to be quite a challenge and quite a hard thing at least that's what i want to believe Anyways, uh, we are going to start everything quite in a weird way. I really want to take the side and I want to spank the Skoda immediately. Um, I have a feeling he is not going to escape in time. So I think this is how we can rebalance those beautiful bastards sitting over there. So I know I'm spotted. I know I am still spotted because the LTTB is sitting in that bush. But you know what? Joke's on you. I do not care. All I need to do... I need to peer, 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 go up like this, and I need to beg for our guys to spot them. Whenever they are going to get spotted, uh, they will definitely hate their life decisions. So, looking into all of this, boom, minus 1000. This is what this tank is good, you know, whenever you are spotting someone, whenever someone is getting spotted, um, it is absolutely amazing to spank someone for this huge amount of damage. I know I'm still spotted and if I'm not mistaken any Benny Mikitaki, how about light tank sitting somewhere here? Um, worth a try, you never know when you hit shots like this, right? I know about this LTTB, at least he used to be over there, maybe he is not anymore. 10 seconds left and we can go for this Mr. Škoda. We are starting to turn for him, 3, 2, 1, he has 200 HP and he is officially dead. Unlucky, what can I say? Meanwhile, LTTB is running for his life for obvious reasons. And enemies are pushing this side quite heavily as well. Interesting. Okay. Let's see. Can we spank the Shrek? If Shrek still sits in the same bush, I believe Shrek is, uh, is very, very afraid of what will happen to him. I'm going for a blind shot because once again I do not really think we are going to do anything in the next uh, 20 seconds so we can easily go for a blind shot and now all we need to do we need to get a bit involved like so. Let's see, Škoda and Convoy. Um, Škoda will get punished by our 277 and probably was a 55, right? At least that's what should happen. And what I would love to see, I would love to see a nice angle here. Unfortunately, it is not the case, fellas. It is not so easy to see the things. Enemy Jack Pizda is here in the back. I repeat, nothing what I can do for him. And we see the apocalypse going on there. Aka, there are 10 tanks. Tier 10 tanks are teaming up and uh, going like one. Um, which is a smart play, fellas. You cannot say absolutely anything. Going in the wolf pack is always nice and always welcome. But the question is, um, will it help for them to win the game? We are obviously thinking how to build a better angle and how to spank them. And I think we found one. I think the first victim of ours is going to be this IS-4. Even though he noticed us. Boom. Good. Gun down is always nice and always welcome. Very good. Okay. I know what we are going to do. I know what we are going to do. We are going for a Mr. Kran. I think that's the play and that's the way to approach the situation. Even though I took one for the team from the IS-4, I do not really mind this too much. I'm getting tracked again, doesn't really change absolutely anything. He's thinking about flanking me, but he will be surprised and now we are going to bully the crown wagon. I repeat, now we are going to bully the crown wagon. Look at this. No? So who is meta tank now? Who is meta tank now? Who? <laughs> uh, you like it, don't you? You like it. Okay, beautiful. Kranwagen is down. How about this char footer? Can we spank the char footer for once? I would say we should be able to do that relatively easily. Meanwhile, char footer is looking at us. Char footer is thinking, can I spank Jack Pizda? He definitely did. Um, very, very good, but... It doesn't change the fact his team is still losing the game quite heavily, right? Charioteer. 
O, Vaza is giving us information where Chariot here is, that's good. So what we are going to do, we are going to go just like so. Thank you very much for information, my man. Let's see. Charioteer might try to go a bit up, okay? Charioteer is over there. I see, I see, I see. No. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. Can we spank him or we cannot? This is the question, fellas. Can we spank him or we cannot? Beautiful. Down to one shotable. Unlucky! Unlucky! Yeah, that was that was fun, fellas. That was fun. Uh, so once again, but those games are happening so rarely, at least for me. Uh, maybe because I haven't played with a tank like this in a while or something, but that was very frustrating. Uh, uh, experience overall for me to play with this vehicle. I want to be honest with you. I'm not here to make up this shit. Uh, if I have a good game, I have a good game. If I have a, a bad game, obviously I will say, holy bananas, fellas, this session was uh, horrible. Anyways, this is what we have, fellas. This is the third game which is going to go into the video. And now, without further ado, I really want to um, show the other games which I had. So here you go, fellas. Uh, 8,000 profits, beautiful. Vaza did absolutely phenomenal job. GG for Vaza. And all in all, I I played seven games and I barely have 2.5 thousand average. I'm not even joking, fellas. Either the games are ending so damn quick or either um, after I shoot, I just simply get farmed. This is how I feel like with this vehicle. I needed seven games in order to make this video for you, fellas, to show three decent ones. Uh, anyways. Thank you very much for watching, I appreciate you, and now let's teleport into the bloopers and you will see exactly how I felt when I played with this tank. Let's go and see you uh, next time, fellas. I can see I am eating quite a bit of baboons, which is always nice and always welcome. Okay, uh, do I want to... Okay, well, that was a good one.